how will you identify how much restful your api is whenever you develop a restful api you must have thought whether the api which i am developing is fully restful or is there something else which make this api more restful than what it is right now to answer this we have a model known as uh, richardson maturity model and it was developed by leonard richardson and this model categorizes the restful apis into three category which are uris http verbs and the hypermedia so on the basis of these three category richardson model categorizes and restful api into four levels starting from level 0 and it goes up to level 3 where level 0 is not at all a restful api and if your restful api falls into one of those level 1 to 3 then your api is somewhat restful so as per the model if your api falls into level 0 then your api is not at all restful and if your api falls in one of these level then your api is restful and the majority of that api will be decided by the level in which the api falls into let's see what is there in level 0 level 0 basically deals with a soap request or plain old xml request wherein we used to have only one single endpoint and all the endpoints will be having a single verb which will be a post request and the actual action which needs to be taken for a particular api will be defined in the request body of that particular request so if you recall your soap request you will find that in the soap endpoint we only have one endpoint exposed and whenever we have to fetch some details from that particular endpoint we have to give the actions in a request body so let's say we have to get a user then we have to define that particular action in our request body we have to create a user we have to modify that request body to actually let that soap endpoint know that this request is for creating a user and this request is for getting a user for example the level 0 api which will basically an xml uh, based api will look something like this wherein we will have one endpoint let's say slash user we have one http verb which will be post and there will be a request body which says that it is a request to create a user and the details of the user so this is a level 0 api this is often called as swamp of box box means plain old xml object in level 1 it is a slight move from uh, level 0 wherein the api is slightly restful because single endpoint which was the case in level 0 is now broken down into multiple endpoints uh, respective to a particular operation let's say if we want to fetch user then we will hit the user endpoint if we want to get the profile of a user we will hit a profile endpoint but still it uses a post method only we can have something like uh, multiple endpoints slash users slash users slash profile which will perform a certain operations so this is a level 1 of your api if your uh, api falls into this if you have multiple resources in your uh, api and you all of them uses a same http verb let's say post for example then your api will be falling under level 1 of richardson maturity model in level 2 along with uris multiple uris richardson maturity model also introduces the http verbs http methods basically if your apis have multiple resources multiple endpoints and all of those endpoints as per their operation they are using appropriate http verbs then that particular uh, api will fall under level 2 of richardson maturity model and it will also make use of uh, correct response code to be returned for a particular api response so if your api is let's say get user then you will return a 200 okay response and if your endpoint let's say is post user to create a user you will return basically a 201 created response so if your api falls under this category then your api is level 2 of maturity model so level 3 is basically all of the things which we have done till level 2 plus head overs so let's say your api is having multiple resources your api is making use of appropriate http verbs and http methods your api is returning back a perfect response codes along with that particular response your api is also having links in your response to a different endpoint or which is linked to the previous response or previous request right so that is basically head overs so if your api is having all these three incorporated then you can say that your api is fully restful as per this particular richardson maturity model and you don't have to be like compliant with this particular level 3 you may or may not choose to implement hetos in your uh, apis it basically depends upon how you design your restful apis so in your uh, level 3 restful api your response will something look like that wherein the first three key is basically a response related to a request which was fired in and links is something which wherein you are providing that these are the links which you, which might be useful and client and make use of this particular link so 
this is basically your hypermedia included in your response to summarize level 0 is the level wherein your api is not at all restful it's a plain old xml api level 1 is where you implement multiple uris and uh, still a single uh, http method which is post level 2 wherein you include level 1 plus you implement multiple http verbs or http methods with the appropriate response codes and level 3 is where you include level 1 plus level 2 and along with that you also include hypermedia in the response so this is how you can determine that how restful your api is and uh, yeah that's it if you have liked this video please like and subscribe the channel thank you